It's always a good idea to follow the rules, especially when it comes to writing design or presentation code for your HTML documents. This video will show you how to make sure your CSS and CSS3 code is properly written and how to fix it when it isn't. There's a free website that will quickly validate your CSS code and either pass it or fail it. And if it fails it, you'll be given tips on where the problem lies and what needs to be fixed. Now, validation basically looks for errors and non-standard coding. Now, most browsers today are pretty forgiving, but some might display your messed up or non-standard coded web page all kind of funky like. I should also mention that striving for 100% validation is a good thing, but not having 100% validation is not necessarily a terrible thing. So can CSS that's not 100% valid cause things like search engine optimization issues? Well, not likely, but keep in mind, sometimes you might need to break a couple of rules for a particular element to work on your site. Just make sure that your site displays the way that you want it to in all the major browsers and you should be okay. Now, if your CSS code is just riddled with problems and bad coding, then chances are your site won't display anyway, and that should be more of an issue to be concerned with than search engine optimization. Now, when you have some time, here's a good read you might want to check into regarding validation and things like SEO. It's at yoast.com forward slash W3C dash validation dash SEO. And the site we want to go to for our validation is jigsaw.w3.org forward slash CSS dash validator. And here we have three different ways in which we can validate our CSS, either by having it already on a server and providing a URL here for your CSS document, or you can upload the file from your computer. Or what I'm going to be demonstrating here is inputting that CSS code directly onto the page here. Now of the three, the most accurate is this one here, the first one. Well, let's go here and just for demonstration purposes, let me go ahead and provide a CSS code just to demonstrate what the error will look like. And where I've made the intentional mistake at is right here on the color. I added a D there, when in fact it should be A for the alpha channel. Well, let's go ahead and click on check. And there it is, there's our error. And if it passed, you'd get a big old green bar right across there. It tells you right here, if we hover over this, you can see it says line 12. Tells you on line 12, the error is the background color RGB is not a background color value. So if you're familiar with RGB or even the RGB with the alpha channel, then you'll know right away that, oh, there's my mistake. That D should be an A. So let's go ahead and enter the correct code. Change that to an A. And one thing I want to point out here is that right here, this is kind of incorrect as well. There should be a semicolon at the end of the word none, but there isn't. So let me show you what's going to happen with that. Click on check. We got our green bar, but we come on down here to the bottom where it provides us with the valid CSS information. You see here it's automatically added that semicolon for us. So what I suggest you do is just get in the habit, if you're going to use this validator, go ahead and enter your code up there. And even if it does pass, come on down here and grab all of this code that's down here, copy this, paste it on your CSS document overriding the existing just to make sure that all of it is perfect as this is displayed down here. And that's just how simple and fast it is to check your CSS for proper validation and fix any errors that are found. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.